All right, thanks for that, Frank. We are getting an update right now from homicide detectives on that fatal shooting at Bathurst and St. Clair. Let's listen in. See the gas station. I said this happened at around 12.40 a.m. If somebody was in the area that might have seen uh, our uh, victim uh, or anything in relation to suspects, uh, we're encouraging them to contact uh, Toronto Police Homicide at 416-808-7400. Uh, uh, we're currently working on a 13 division. They can contact us at 13 division as well. Uh, 416-808-1300, or consequently uh, call Crime Stoppers. As I mentioned, we're still early on. We don't have a, uh, a, a detailed suspect description, uh, but we do believe it's uh, one or possibly two males, and uh, they were last seen on Claxton, which is a street right behind me. And uh, as uh, the investigation progresses and more information comes through, uh, I'll be uh, sharing that with uh, the media. Uh, is there any concern for public safety, uh, Detective? Uh, I don't believe so. Um, at this point, we don't have any information to indicate that. Thanks, Detective. Thank you. Thank you. And you were just listening in live uh, to an update from homicide detectives regarding the fatal shooting at that gas station at Bathurst, just north of St. Clair. Uh, just to uh, give you some background on this, a man in his 20s was rushed to a trauma center uh, just before one this morning. He was shot at that gas station there, pronounced dead in hospital. A homicide detectives, as you just heard, are looking for one to two male suspects. Uh, they have not released any suspect descriptions, but believe that they may have taken off uh, off Claxton there. So we'll continue to follow this developing story throughout the morning. Now we can tell you, homicide uh, very busy this morning. They're also looking into another murder overnight. We're going to go to the East End now, which is at Sherburne and Dundas, where gunfire at a pub claimed the life of one man, and that's where we find our Tammy Sutherland. Yeah, that's right, Melanie. It happened just outside of the Libertarian pub here at Queen and Sherbourne last night at about 11.30. That's when police were called and they found three victims here on scene, all three taken to hospital. One was pronounced dead in hospital. Now, a fourth victim walked into hospital. One man who was here on scene tells us that he saw that fourth victim holding his stomach and running westbound on Queen Street, where there's actually a trail of blood left behind as well. Uh, we spoke to him about what he saw last night. That, that's just craziness. Like, I, that's, I don't even understand. Like, this used to be the real jerk before, and, like, the area's always been a little bit, like, chaotic and stuff like that, but this is just, um, this is just something different. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Wow, it just blows my mind. Like, seriously, like, you can't even feel safe anywhere in the city now. And that was a man who used to live here in the area and is surprised by the shooting, but not surprised by the crying here in the area, says he saw it a lot while he lived here for eight months. Now, police are here on scene. They're actually searching a garbage truck that is within the cordoned off area as well. And, and also police uh, are going to be giving an update. Homicide detectives are expected to give an update at about 7.30 this morning at 51 Division. We'll bring that to you live as well. So far, no suspect is description has been released. Mel, I'll send it back to you. All right, Tammy, thank you for that. There were also two separate stabbings overnight. A man in his 50s stabbed at his neck at an apartment building near Bellamy and Kingston Road. He's being treated in hospital right now. Shortly after, a man in his 20s was found with a stab wound near Victoria Park and York Mills. He is also recovering in hospital. There's been no arrest in either case. An irate activist confronting Mayor Tory at an event last night that was commemorating Emancipation Day. Desmond Cole challenging the mayor at the event at Union Station. Tory was giving a speech at the fifth annual Underground Freedom Train Ride. It's an event celebrating the contributions of African Canadians in Toronto. Cole asked Tory about a police board meeting last month that was temporarily halted when Cole demanded to speak about the Defonta Miller case. Cole was escorted from the building where the police board meeting was held then was fined and warned not to return. I wasn't free to speak my mind last week at police services, and you walked out the room, and your board brought in police officers right. to arrest me. Why? Right. Why did you do that? Because I dared to speak about right. 19-year-old Devontae oh Miller, who was beaten by our police. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Paul. You're not welcome. The crowd briefly erupted into a chant of Black Lives Matter before the ceremony continued. Who are behind the scenes 